Yo guys, we are back with another Daimachi Mora for his video and I am here basically just flexing my earth team like and the worst part about it is I don't even have the best units <laughs> Like I have I have obviously I have the Otal and wait no this isn't right what's going on here this this shouldn't be here You should be here there we go <laughs> right so we're doing the Thunder single target seven zone and this is my earth team I used to really be like Oh, I don't want to do Thunder Zone. I can't do it. But now I'm just like, yeah. All right. Otal's going to wreck you. Uh, my Earth team ain't bad. It's not, I don't think it's going to score like massively high or like super well. I just need that 15 mil, you know? Uh, anyway, so going over the team. Haruhime here for the SA Gauge Charge. You know you know all that good stuff. Ares for the Physical Resist debuff. Lina for the SA Gauge Charge. Finn for the SA Gauge Charge. Plus, I needed Finn uh, because Finn gives the strength and magic uh agility endurance dexterity you know all of the stats that i'm missing for the uh, lyra lyra here um because demeter only gives a magic resist debuff and so crit rate so <clears throat> uh, i kind of needed to stack those buffs so she she's still only she's getting only 10 percent, but it's better than nothing uh otal you will you know he's here he's gonna smack the crap out of whatever we're fighting uh, outside of rare eyes, single target AoE damage plus 10% and strength plus 20%. She also has the highest base strength stat of any of my assists, hence her being on Otal. And then Lyra, Lyra, <coughs> Earth resist debuff. Uh, sorry, I'm clearing my throat. It's uh, it's kind of humid today and uh, I've been rushing around. And in case you didn't know, I have asthma. But that's never here or there and it's not your problem anyway so uh lyra's here for the earth resist debuff and the magic resist debuff so she's pretty self-sufficient in that sense and then uh goblin slayer's here for the single target aoe damage buff winter hestia for the 10 percent earth damage plus the counter and guard rate is pretty helpful and then finally i have the anniversary gareth now i only ever wanted one copy of him but after using him a few times and how much damage he actually puts out, I regret not getting more copies. Uh, he he hurts, man. He does a lot of damage, even at plus two. And I probably will put some... No, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to put star bonds in him. If you don't know what you should be doing right now, you should be saving all of your bonds, gnome tickets and everything like for the next lot of celebration banners. Hold on to them. Don't waste them on units. If you didn't get a unit and that unit's... Like, if you didn't MLB a unit and that unit's not, like, considered top tier don't bother uh the banner may come back in the future and if you've got iris go for it but until then don't waste star bonds on on gareth please anyway on him i have the take because take is the second highest strength buffing uh no gives a 20 percent strength buff but has the second highest base strength stat in saying that let's just get into the game shall we <laughs> Right, so the skeleton. Uh, we're gonna lower that strength and magic. We're gonna spotlight here. Actually, I mean, yeah, we will do it this time because I, do, I really don't want my sack units to die. This is my first attempt at this, uh, so I'm not gonna risk anything. I want that S clear this time, like immediately. Mm, yeah, we're gonna go for that for the additionals. Uh, and then we're gonna magic resist. Yeah, we need that for the additionals too. The print thing with additionals it really screws up your turn rotations. Okay, so turn two, we're gonna switch things up with the Yasuga sweeping path for the single target and AOE damage buff. Uh, my phone's vibrating. Is it an emergency? It is not. <laughs> okay, uh, and then we're gonna go for the. Physical resist, earth resist, and guard rate debuff. Such a great utility skill, man. And then we're going to go for the plus 50% mag magic and then the earth resist debuff for two turns. Going to extend that with your Suga, of course. Cool. And then I think turn three, I'm going to reset their additionals so that they don't have to reset as often after. Whoa! Okay. Um, these aren't roll. Bro, <laughs> these guys need to stop hitting so damn hard. Um, there's the earth buff that Lyra's missing. 
yeah, we're gonna reset these additionals, I think, because he's he loses his this turn. No, next turn. And I, I kinda don't want to waste any after the SA kicks in, so we're gonna do it this way for now. Yeah, I hope for the best. I really hope he doesn't like he needs to chill with that nearly 3k damage type bull. Like, you know, because that's not that's not cool, man. <laughs> Uh, nice. Now we can go to skill free. SA with Harahime. We're gonna remove this and then he won't reapply again until turn 7. So now that I know that, you would have think, you know what it is? It's because every time I do 7 zone, I, I literally just do the recording and then I don't play it no more. <laughs> like, so I never actually took the time to think, wait, turn 4 and turn 7 is when they lower strength for magic. Um, and it's random by the way, like they could do it on multiple or they could do it on an individual, so like, you, They could end up casting this the debuff on one person like three times cool. Yo near 400k straight off and then 200 from the additional that's not even a joke Even that's what I'm saying even Lyra has some stupid damage which is why I love putting her on the team It's like it's just mad uh, usually I don't um, usually I'll be like no don't ever you like if you can avoid it don't use a team with both strength like physical and magic types but Lyra just works because Lyra has all of the resistance debuffs and buffs her own magic all she needs is someone to buff her earth damage and then Otal's like buffs everything he's just so self-sufficient he he doesn't matter who else is on the team that's the that's the reason it works cool. Nearly 400, like, so nearly 600k just from one turn's worth of damage, man. Okay, I kind of need to Sheikah now because this is not cool. All right, now we're going to SA with, with Otal, and I, I don't know, I'm probably going to get like a turn 8 or turn 9 finish as always. And then next turn I have to use skill 2 with Gareth because they're going to remove... Wait, how many, wait, 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 how many additionals do I have here? I need to reset her additionals again. I mean, at this point, I actually think it might not be worth. Hmm. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna bother. I, the, the fact that hers. This is the problem, because hers is only two additional actions, and Otal's is three. It really throws off the rotation. That's the only issue I have with these um, anniversary units. And then, I mean. Gareth doesn't even matter, his additionals are just shields and I don't really rate that. That's like, that's horrible, you don't want to nullify an attack because then you won't count on That's just, that's just not a good mechanic to have put in the game. Like unless it's like intentional, say like it blocks one SA, which would be broken by the way, let's not beat around a bush, that would be completely busted. 1.2 mil, I'm happy with that. There's not as I'm going to complain about it. <laughs> God damn it, Haruhime counter! <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. If you were watching any of my videos at any point, you would know me and Haruhime basically are not talking right now. We're not on good terms. She doesn't want to counter heal. And it's always the clutch ones that she misses out on. It's never the ones, oh, it's like she'll heal when they're missing like 50 health or something. But then when they're near dead, she's like, oh no, I don't feel like countering right now. Like, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> uh, let's just go for it. <clears throat> Man, over 500k, like you, I can't really complain about like, his damage. Do you know what I'm saying? Look, she didn't need the heal there and she counted anyway. Gonna Sheikah. And then hope for the best on this turn. How much health does he have actually? We might be finishing this. Nah, I don't know if we're gonna finish it this turn, but we'll see. Because Otal's run out of additionals and I really don't think it's worth resetting. Like, see, yeah, if, if he hit Otal there instead of um, Haruhime, it would have been over on turn 8. So, knowing that, it, I can basically keep rerunning this until I get a turn 8 finish. I don't know what the modifier is for a turn 8 finish, actually. Like, we'll see. I'll check the modifier, like, the percent. When I say modifier, I mean, like, the percentage buff bonus you get for finishing within that amount of turns. I don't know if it changes for 8 turns, but we'll see. I'll see what it is for 9, and then I'll probably ask, you know, some of the better players in my discord um, <laughs> if the modifier changes for turn 8 but I think it does yo I ain't even I ain't even mad like no one died the only scary moment I had was at the beginning when he did like 2.7k damage to Lyra 
That was. Um, I feel like that was. Whoa! Yo, so score detail. If I can finish this on turn nine and it changes the modifier, like, would it go down to like. Would, would, you, would you get a higher modifier than 140%? I need to ask. Kratos, if you're in the chat, you know, man. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, so yeah guys that is the uh, Thunder Zone I, literally nothing to be learned here like just emulate the team I, I have a team building video so you should already know what you should be including if you have questions or you need help jump in my discord there's loads of people there that are like know a lot about the game um, and are willing to help and it's a really positive uh, you know environment to be fair considering this is like an anime uh, game community it's so I don't, I don't want to word this my, I'm really happy and proud of how positive my Discord server has turned out and how active it is. Like, I love all of you guys in there for keeping it such a great place to be. And I'm just sorry I can't participate as often as I'd like in there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're not. Social media links in the description. And as always, guys, I love you and I'll catch you later. Yeah, I'm